Hey, what's up everybody? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. J-Ho here, and we're gonna go ahead and go over some DMZ details. We're going to go step by step how the game is actually going to work and let you make a decision on whether or not you like the game. So if you are new to the channel, make sure to go ahead, click the subscribe button, and definitely leave a like if you do enjoy the video. It helps out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, so, okay, what we have here is WZ ranked on Twitter went down did all of the research this guy is a data science approach uh you know he's smart so let's go ahead and go over all of the details that they have pieced together you know kind of kind of show you what dmz actually is going to be where all of the gameplay is actually going to work so as I said remain super optimistic about dmz i think everyone was too quick to judge it i rewatched most of the vods from the event here are some important details that many have missed there are three factions offering missions uh, as we saw, there was the Legion, White Lotus, and Black Mouse, as you can see. So we do have the three of those. Uh, this is from Dr. Lupo. We can see that there are at least five tiers of missions. From when you look at the insured slots, it says complete tier five of any faction. Uh, so we know that there is at least five tiers, three factions, potentially up to 60 missions, as we can see here the uh, missions you get the contraband weapons some xp for doing so um there's other items you can get as well now everyone will want to complete as many dmz missions as possible as they earn unique rewards exclusive operator skins and blueprints usable across all modern warfare 2 and uh warzone contraband weapons for dmz and xp tokens so as we saw up here uh you can get the contraband weapon from completing quests um but also unique operator skins and blueprint weapons missions also unlock additional insured weapon slots we saw that insured slots allow you to deploy into the dmz with your own weapons from the gunsmith so you can go in you can create your own weapon uh just like you would in your loadout uh and and load in with that So unsuccessful excellence. This is a part that I completely missed and I didn't understand quite how it worked. I was like, how can you just create your own loadout weapon? But it's on a 10 hour cooldown if you die with it. So if you bring in your gun and you die with it, 10 hours. Now you can reduce that. Uh, as you see here, the cooldown is reduced with successful exfils depending on the amount of cash you bring out with you. Uh, as we can see here, this guy had 3,520 cash reduced it by less than three hours 30,000 cash five and a half hours so you can reduce it uh it doesn't look like there is a cash stash um because you're getting xp for the cash here so i was wrong about that as well i saw that you were extracting cash but i didn't see i was converting it straight to xp uh so while your insured slot is in a cooldown you deploy with contraband weapons only uh, these guns are held in your stash from being previously looted during successful expos or earned during uh, completing DMZ missions. They are removed on your, from your stash on death forever. Contraband weapons are not customizable and may be inferior to your own loadout weapons due to lack of modifications. It is very likely that the average player will run out of their insured slots and contraband weapons very quickly due to being unsuccessful we saw a lot of deaths in what we were watching for the dmz uh so therefore you will be forced to deploy with your fists we saw uh, it looks like he doesn't know if you're going in with your pistols or your fists but we saw landmark go in with his fists and lupo dropped him a gun uh so this should ensure most players play a smart game not running around crazy so that way it gives you a little bit of a risk reward there uh and you want to make sure that you have a healthy stash of contraband guns um for in your insured slots and so you can rank up your insured slots um you know a, as you go maybe there's different timers for the different ones you go um it'd be interesting to find out um some gatherable items will be mission items as mission progress and difficulty uh you will need to explore with those items to deliver them to your faction this should create an ecosystem of players fighting for loot and expo points so specific items here will probably have specific spots you know uh going into a kitchen you find some tea or like a store uh electrical tape and a wrench probably in a toolbox 
you know, you want a bottle of uh, liquor. We saw that there was a leak of a quest that you need to get out with uh, five liquor bottles to complete a quest. You know, that, you know, maybe you need to go to a bar or find, you know, places like that. So it will help you notify, like, where things are in the map. Uh, maybe there's medical items you need to get out. Um, but they're going to progress. The missions are going to progress and get progressively harder, um, which makes sense, right? And so it definitely gives at least the items some sort of value. They're just going to be missions that you need to use them for. So probably every item in the game probably has a mission. Some missions will only be lootable inside of locked buildings, which can be unlocked with key cards. Key cards have, an, uh, have a limited amount of uses and can be dropped from your stash on death, making the decision to bring them into the DMZ a high risk and high reward game. So there is no you know, prison pocket that you can put items in in this game. It looks like you are just going in with whatever you have on you and if you don't get out, uh, you lose it, including keys. I couldn't imagine going in with a marked key and losing it. That would be insane. So depending on you know the value of these keys, um, how hard they are to get, this could this could make a quite you know heart pumper of a of a of a match if you go in with a super rare key. Um, so in addition to fashion missions and the rewards, there are also up to seven unique rewards from weapon cases. Once you grab these, it marks you on the map for everyone, making the extraction more difficult, but potentially awarding a sweet blueprint. So the weapon cases, we saw people going for the weapon cases a lot. Um, it's blueprints. You just get a blueprint of a gun. One of seven, I'm sure as seasons progress, they add more and more and more. Um, so I can definitely see how that works all out there. Uh, there are three expo locations available since the start of the match these are all the same to all players on the server players can expo at any time but nearby players will be alerted because the helicopter is coming down they get to shoot a flare out the radiation starts to spread from its source once the timer first ends i think 30 minutes i believe i saw like 25 minutes and then um it was like eight minutes of gas closing um expo locations disappear when the radiation reaches them but a new final expo zone appears towards the very end of the match. So it looks like, you know, as this is expanding, it looks like there's final exfils here that popped up. Um, this is from Symphony. Exfil zones, as well as radiation source, change locations each game. However, they have a predefined number of possible combinations. So, you know, here's your radiation, the three exfils. Radiation, three exfils. It kind of looks like it puts the radiation in the middle of it, of the exfils. Kind of makes sense. I wonder if you can put like a gas mask on and go into that radiation zone, and that radiation zone has like a very unique loot loot item. Um, that would actually be really cool too, because you do get the gas mask. So thoughts. Uh, each season, Infinity Ward may replace or add more missions and rewards. This is key to DMZ's replayability and success. 100%. You just keep tacking on stuff. If Warzone was this successful without any rewards being on beyond sending a victory or stat screenshot to your friends, just think what DMZ can become with its missions. Uh, some more of his thoughts here. Uh, my favorite time on Warzone was when I when it had its original Easter eggs with bunkers or in the subway, the Intel missions or during the pawn takes pawn all of that gave a mission to warzone in addition to d or in addition to winning dmz reminds me of those times i think dmz is on a great start i just wish squads had their own expo points and the servers would not disband uh but instead let new player squads drop in as squads die or expo server keeping the number of players on a server a constant threat so he, he wants it to be like the cycle um where it is a persistent world you know um you come in come out uh as you go multiple exfils so in that way it's not getting a little bit cluttered we'll see how that goes see if that's a big issue or not um but 64 people is what i believe with only three exfils it's quite a bit it's quite a bit of people um in a very short time frame i would actually like to see the raid timer at least expanded um you know instead of 25 minutes maybe like 35 or 40 minutes so in that way you can really get a lot more exploring in there i think it's cool honestly 
I'm pretty hyped about this. After reading this, it sounds like it's it does have the depth. It has the progression. It has the risk reward. I figured by watching literally people play for an hour and a half, like if I saw people play Tarkov for an hour and a half, they probably wouldn't even have found their two MP one five five. They wouldn't have completed one quest. You know what I mean? There's no way they would have found three Saluas. Um, and so I don't like this game's ass. You know, but don't be too quick to, to jump the gun on this. Uh, you know, it's going to be nice gunplay. It's Call of Duty, right? So we all know the gunplay is going to be fun. It's going to be great. It's going to be smooth. And it's just adding a lot of depth, giving you some risk reward, ton of missions. And I think they're going to be adding in a ton of missions. So cool. I uh, hope you're excited for DMZ like I am. Honestly, reading this this morning really got me got me pretty happy. So uh, if you feel the same way, go ahead, leave a like. I would appreciate that. Definitely helps out the channel. And subscribe if you are new, uh, because that way you can get updated whenever I make new videos. And we're going to be talking about the DMZ a lot. So we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good day.